Hello and welcome to the section of the circuit analysis tutor. Here we're going to work this problem using Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. And this problem looks a little bit different mostly because we have two sources uh, in the problem. So if you ever see anything like that, don't get worried about it, don't get stressed out about it. Uh, it's just like having two batteries. Think of two batteries in your remote control or two batteries uh, you know, in any device. So it's, it's not all that uncommon. So in this case we have a source that's 147 volts. We have another source that's also 147 volts. And then we have this resistor network which is labeled. Uh, and then we're also given that the current in this uh, branch right here is 21 amps and the current in this branch is 14 amps. Now the question that we're asked in this particular case is what is the power supplied by the sources? In other words, these are the sources. What is, what is the, power, the power supplied by those sources? More specifically, what is the power supplied by each of these sources uh, you know, separately? So how many watts is this guy supplying? How many watts is this guy supplying? Uh, now your first thought might be, well, it's the same voltage, right? So both of those sources are, and they must be supplying the same amount of power to the circuit. But that's not true because remember, power uh, is always equal to IV. I, think of an IV that goes in your arm. Power is IV. The current times the voltage. So we do have the same voltages here, but it really depends. Is the current flowing in this leg through this source the same as the current flowing through this source? If that's true, if the current is, fl is the same through both of these things, then IV will be the same. And so the power supply will be the same. But if you end up having 5 amps flowing through this source and 3 amps floating, flowing through that source, then you'll have different amounts of power being supplied by each one of them because IV will be different. So don't assume that just because you have the same amount of voltage in your two different sources in the circuit that they must be supplying the same power because this resistor network is going to govern how the currents are branching and that's going to govern basically how much current's coming out of each one of these things. Okay. So this is a complicated circuit. It will be difficult to, to look at this and just figure, figure out the answer. What we want to do is start to use our Kirchhoff laws, our voltage law and our current law, to make progress. So what we look as we first study, and we, we, could, we could brute force this. I mean, we could uh, you know, define nodes everywhere, write current, Kirchhoff current laws at all the nodes that we can, and then we could go write voltage loops uh, in all the loops that we can. We see that three big nice loops here. But sometimes it's useful. So I guess what I should say is it's always okay to brute force a problem. If you want to write uh, loop equations everywhere and node equations everywhere, go for it. You just might end up with a, uh, a very large system of equations to solve. But in this particular case, we're given two currents in two of the different legs. So that's a clue for us to look at those particular things and figure out if we can um, do something uh, and make things a little bit simpler. And before we get to that point, we need to do some labeling because we know we're going to be writing node equations. We know we're going to be writing loop equations. So we know we're going to want to know the current flowing through the source. We've already talked about that. So what we're going to do is label this as I sub 1. That's I sub 1 right there. All right. And we know we're going to want the current down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to label this. I'll put it right over here with a big arrow. This is I sub 2. I sub 1 going through the top source. I sub 2 going through like this. And let's go ahead and label this guy I sub 3 right there. Now let me see if this makes sense. And I'll, I'll explain to you why I didn't label a current over in this leg. You might say, why didn't you label that? Well, 